Hi, we've got a special guest. Uh, we're going to talk about seasoning burrs on grinders. We've got Tino Franzini. Tino, thanks for being here. Tino's from Chiado. He's on his way to Seattle in the Specialty Coffee Association Convention. So uh, you've got kind of a neat story about seasoning burrs and what happens when people in Europe maybe read about uh, seasoning burrs uh, from an English blog. Yeah, exactly. First of all, a pleasure stopping by. And again, yeah, it happens sometimes, you know, people is getting more and more aware of what's going on on the blogs, on the third wave roasting and all of that kind of uh, uh, specialty coffee stuff. Mm -hmm. But sometimes they li literally do not have the, say, technical instruments to understand what's going on with okay. the language itself. And so sometimes they read on the blogs about seasoning and... Uh, and so they go and may hit Google Translator and say what seasoning means. And the first probably uh, translation is adding spices or <laughs> adding flavors to something. So they end up asking us uh, which kind of spicing <laughs> are you you're using for your birds or to, which, season. <laughs> uh, to season the birds, which makes <laughs> a funny joke. Anyway. You're putting garlic through your grinder? Or exactly. No? <laughs> no, no garlic, no pepper, no rosemary okay. or like that. So really, when we're talking about seasoning burrs, what are, what are we talking about? We're talking about, I mean, reaching a point where the burrs themselves uh, perform at a standard and uh, uh, consistent pace in mm -hmm. terms of the flux of the coffee. So it's usually something that uh, takes a few kilos of coffee, depending, depends on the size of the burrs or the shape of the burrs. Mm -hmm. Flat burrs need less seasoning than conical ones, Okay, of course. And just to reach, again, a consistent pace in terms of the dose weight. So it really, it has absolutely nothing to do with the quality of the grind. Not it's at all, all just about how much, is, how much they're grinding. Yeah, apart from the very first uh, few grams, uh, right. which would take any, any mechanical, say, uh, equipment. But it's a kind of polishing, which could simplify that way, okay. uh, polishing the teeth of the burrs okay. and uh, improve the friction factor of them mm -hmm. so to have a consistent um, flux of coffee and delivery. So, so it's all about how much, the, exactly. how much it's dosing. Exactly. So in a dosing grinder, it's really not even an issue. Not I even mean, an issue, shipping. exactly. Not even an issue right. because it, it will affect just the, uh, the time it takes to fill up the doser. Right. Not the, the dose, because the dose weight is uh, on, a, on a volumetric uh, dosing chamber. Whereas on the uh, electronic ones, it may affect a little bit. On our grinders, they say usually in the very beginning, it's not even uh, more than one gram, mm -hmm. which I think it's something the, the user can be can, can use. Just make up for. Just make up for. And yeah. th now that all, now seasoning takes, we talked about it, maybe three to five kilos of coffee. Yeah, on average, depends again. Very, yeah. It's very varying, even in the same set of birds, it may, may because take just it. one, um, very, very few different, uh, small differences, say tiny, like uh, one uh, hundredth of millimeter or even one uh, uh, thousandth of millimeter which is something which is in the mechanical tolerances can change the quantity of coffee which needs sure. to be for the birds to be bedded in. Okay. So now one other thing that I wanted to bring up. Now something Chiado does not do is pre-season burrs. Now some manufacturers do, do. Now let's talk about why Chiado has yeah. chosen not to do that. Yeah, of course. You can season the birds in two different ways, say, basically. Either running uh, um, an amount of coffee, rice, uh, corn, whatever you want, through the, through the beans, or do it mechanically. Doing, uh, doing it with the ingredient, actual ingredient, would take a lot of time, people, and of course money. It would cost right. a lot. And it's not feasible. No one does it on, the, on, on that way. Those who, da, uh, who do it on the, on the uh, mechanical way, it's kind of, it could be sunblasting or so other mechanical processes. That leads in actually losing lifetime of the, on, the, on the birds themselves. So if, if they're mechanically seasoned, you're, yeah. they're not gonna last as, as no, long. Of and course. If you are talking, say, uh, let's take the 83 millimeters flat birds of the E37S as mm -hmm. a reference, they should last, on average, about seven to 800 kilos. Okay. If you mechanically pre-season them, mm -hmm. you can end up losing about 20%, uh, so about 100 or 150 kilos 
of a, of lifetime that does not make sense. So for like a home user who's it's like who might do a hundred, it, it yeah. could be losing a year of grinding. Exactly. So for so the sake of one gram in the very beginning, I don't think it's worth. And okay. <laughs> to, to, to do that. Sure. Sure, just to get the, and it's all about dosing again. It's not about the quality no, of the no. grind. No. You know, after after you've ground a couple shots or so, you're, the, the quality is there right yeah, from the get-go. Exactly, so. exactly. And then, of course, for instance, it depends on which kind of beans you are you're grinding. For instance, just another uh, tip we can give to our sure. audience. If you're using bigger beans, yeah. uh, for instance, I don't know, IET Comet, that kind of stuff, it's more advisable to use the conical grinder because the the distance between the teeth is a little bit bigger, so it's easier to oh, have to better performances on the on those kind okay. of you know the very big beans which are sure. nowadays a little bit popular. Okay, well listen, Tino, thanks so much for for stopping by. We always appreciate pleasure. yeah pleasure. having come by and uh, have have a great time in Seattle. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again very soon. Okay, thanks. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on everything coffee brought to you by wholelattelove.com. <laughs>